Do you guys want to know how to get 40,000 playmaking badge points per game and 120,000 per hour? If you do, make sure to watch the whole video because I'm going to show you guys the best playmaking badge method that works for current gen and next gen. And throughout the video, I'm going to give you guys tips to make this playmaking badge method as easy as possible. Before you guys start any games, you guys want to head over to options, go to settings, and make sure your game is on all-star difficulty. The reason you want to play on all-star is because when you are on pro difficulty, you don't get any multiplier, and when you play on all-star, you get a 1.2 times multiplier, and all-star is pretty much the same thing as pro the reason you don't want to play on superstar or hall of fame is because once you move up towards superstar if you do this method it's going to be a lot harder to get your teammates open and the cpu is going to get way better defensive animations and the multiplier is a little bit higher than all-star on hall of fame and superstar but all-star is barely harder than pro you still get a multiplier and it's way easier to get badge progress than if you play on superstar and hall of fame with this method when you guys start up a game, the first thing you want to do on defense is press left on the D-pad, call a 2-3 zone, press left on the D-pad again, and then call a half-court trap. This will make your defensive possessions go by a lot faster. As you can see, because of the zone, Dennis Schroeder left Malik Beasley wide open. He misses the shot. And in the very next possession, Anthony Davis double teams d -low. He passes. Anthony Davis double teams again, and they score right away. This is going to give you a lot more possessions and a lot more assists. When it comes to this method on defense, you want to try to get steals and then when you're on the fast break, you want to try to attract the other defender towards you. So as you can see in this clip, I got the steal and I started running towards Ken Birch just so that he would guard me and so my teammate would be wide open for a lob. In this next clip, I did the same exact thing. I got the steal, started running towards the paint so Wendell Carter would guard me and that left Montrez Harrell wide open for the lob. And this doesn't just apply to when you get steals, but anytime you're on the fast break and you're in front of the defenders, you want to let go of your sprint button, wait for one of your teammates to trail, and then just throw the ball to him. Also, if you're on a fast break and you're in the back, you want to try to sprint up the court as much as possible and run into the paint. As you can see, I got Otto Porter to guard me and it left Montrezl Harrell wide open. Another thing you can do on the fast break is if you don't think your teammate's going to cut, you can hold triangle to trail him to the hoop, and while you're holding triangle, you want to press circle to cancel the pass, and then double tap triangle to throw them the lob. That sums up what you want to do on the fast break, but if you're not on the fast break, if you're being inbounded the ball, you want to watch out for teammates cutting towards the hoop, because once you get the ball for some reason, I've realized that teammates just run around the defenders pretty easily, and you do want to throw lobs most of the time, but in this case, if you're too far away from the hoop, if you're beyond half court, you don't want to throw a lob, if you're at half court, you can't throw them a lob, but a lot of times you're going to be behind half court and you just want to throw them a pass and it's an easy assist. If you're in a half court offense, you want to call a screen and you can choose who you want to call the screen. All you have to do is press L1 and it'll bring up this menu. Then press R1 for positional play calling. Everyone's icons will pop up and then you hold the icon of the person you want to set the screen. Once the screen is set, if the big doesn't step up, you want to run the guard into the screen, run past the big and then post up so the big cannot guard your big and you'll get your big an easy lob. So that's what to do if the defender doesn't step up. In this instance right here, I was set a screen but I was double teamed, but my big still rolled so I still took the opportunity and threw him the lob. And you want to throw lobs whenever you can because when it comes to playmaking, you don't get points off for turnovers so keep throwing lobs because lobs get way more badge progress than normal assists. And sometimes you'll get double teamed even after the screen. Right here, I tried to get the defender through the screen and then Carl Anthony Towns double teamed me. So I saw Dennis Schroeder cutting and I threw him the lob. And sometimes your big can get such a quick start that you don't even need to stop their big. As long as you see that they have an open lane, you want to throw the lob. Sometime when your big man sets a screen, the defender's big man will actually get caught on it. As you can see, he sets a screen right here and gets an easy roll because their big man gets caught on the screen. If you see that happen, you just want to throw the lob as quick as you can. Also, when your big man sets a screen, if their big man steps up to guard you instead of playing back on the pick and roll, you can press L1 and have your big man just cut by himself and then you can get him an easy lob. Now for the badges that you guys want to use when doing this method, first you want to max out lob CD passer which is also special delivery on next gen. Then you want to max out needle threader just so the CPU can't get ball deflection and steal animations on your passes as much. Then you want to max out floor general just so your teammates finishing attributes go up when you throw them lobs. Then if you're on next gen you want to max out bullet passer, then you want to max out dimer just in case your teammates end up taking jump shots, then you want to max out quick first step just so you can get around the screen a lot quicker when your teammates are setting you screens. Other things you can do to make this method even easier is to play my player nation because when you do play my player nation you get double badge progress so that'll help a ton. Also when you are calling for a screen from somebody make sure it's the person with the highest driving dunk on the team so I'm on the Lakers and I like to use LeBron and AD for lobs. And the last thing is that obviously lobs are better than normal assists, 
but if you do find a teammate wide open for a normal assist and you want them to shoot it and you don't think they're going to, you can just spam square and most of the time they're going to end up shooting the ball. 